So, hey, when it comes to static uh, analysis and other tooling that helps you increase the quality of your code, right? So there's kind of code reviews, which are the lowest cost, uh, most reliable way to improve code quality. There's uh, unit testing and functional testing. There's static analysis that basically can look at your code and make sure it meets certain kinds of coding standards or there's certain kinds of defects. And you can take all of that kind of stuff and you can feed it into Sonar Cube to try and get a mechanical feel for how good your code is. You roll that with the functional test and your human testing and you can end up having dramatic and uh, dramatic impact on the quality of your so um, software. So the, a lot of people use IDEs and IntelliJ is a great one. Um, we use it on a project I'm on now. And it comes with a whole bunch of integrated code coverage and static analysis tools, that type of thing. It's great inspectors. The only weakness on that and the ones in Visual Studio are the fact that by default, there's really no way to carry those rules that you implemented in the IDE into your CI builds, right? Because you don't know that everybody's got their IDE configured the same way. So what do we want to do? We want to take what the rules that we build for the company or the rules we build for our group or the, the kind of policies we create. And we want to take those from the CI build and we want to push those back. You have two choices, right? You can take it from the IDE and push it into the build, or we can take it from the build and we can push it back in the IDE, right? And the way we can do that, so typically we're going to talk about Java for a minute. Uh, the same thing would be true for C Sharp with MS Build or some other tool. Um, we're going to take the plugins that we have in our build and we're going to backport those. We're going to back install those into our IDE. Um, and we're hoping that we'll make use of the integrated code inspection, but that we'll have enough overlap that um, the what you would hope is the IDE is a superset of what your minimal standard is. And the minimal standard gets implemented in a plugin in the IDE and you run that. And it's required that everybody verify that those all those rules pass before they check in. And then in your CI bill, you don't have a problem. So I'm going to do a demo real quick on check style uh, with um, with uh, IntelliJ. So you say file settings. Obviously on the Mac, this is going to look a little different. I'm going to go to the plugins. We're going to browse the repositories. We're going to type in the word check style. So in previous demos, I did talk about PMD, find bugs. We use the QA plug and we use the uh, find bugs idea, idea, right? Uh, those were the plugins we used in a previous demo. So in this case, we're just going to do the, so check style was actually something that you could have in the QA plug, but in this case, we're just going to do the standard check style plugin. I really like this. Now in IntelliJ, there are inspectors and analyzers, and then some of these, and these plugins can integrate with that as being part of the profiles. I'm not really going to show that. Uh, what I want to show here is the check style plugin actually has its own menu item. You could embed check style behavior, like I said, using QA plug into inspections or to analyze, but we're going to do something different here. And yeah, I'm stalling while it installs. So this is going to take a minute. Yep. Yep. It's exciting. So we could install other, you can see here that there are other check style, right? QA plug, which I talked about and did integration with once before. And there's a couple others in here, right? Um, so if you use QA plug, you could do uh, find bugs and check style it, and PMD. I didn't like the find bugs in it. And that's why I showed find bugs by itself. But hey, everybody's got their own kind of preference. Maybe you want them all integrated. So uh, IntelliJ is going to require a uh, restart, right? So we're going to restart this to enable the plugin. And we'll restart. So the project I'm going to use for this is the pet store example, the spring pet store, because why not? That way I don't have to write code and everybody's got access to the example on Git. It's also been run through a whole bunch of times, so we don't expect to find a lot. The only thing we found in the find bugs talk was uh, a synchronization block that I actually would have had to look through to figure out if it was a real issue or not. Synchronization blocks are hard to find. So check style is really much more um, about the look and feel and the shape of the code. So what I'm going to do, so we've loaded the plugin. I'm going to go to find oops, bit, settings. 
We can look at other settings because all the plugins actually show up down here. So in this case, uh, we're going to run the default check style rules, but what we could do is we can import. Uh, you can actually load configuration files here. So you could say, I want to load a configuration file. I'm going to pull that back in the middle here where you can see it. We're going to browse to the downloads. Downloads. Where is it? Users. Joe, that's me. And we'll go to the downloads on a Mac. This would look different. And we'll go to downloads and we will look for the word check style. There it is right there. So that'll be our config. We'll name this uh, demo check style. And we will hit next. You could use check style file that's on a web page. So that way people wouldn't have to load it into their box. You could just keep pushing new versions. And that didn't work because I have a version error. That's awesome. So we're going to pretend I did that. And then we would pick the check style. When here in this case, we're going to use the default. That was a dumb demo. And we're going to click OK. And now you can see down here we have a check style. So we could click on that. And go here. And you can see here it we could check the current file, we can check style on all the in the module, and we can run check style on all files in the current project. So we're gonna click that. Scans in progress. And now it goes out and it finds various errors. So hmm, let's look at this one here. It says variable ID is actually protected. This is generally frowned on. You got two public um, sets and gets on this guy, but then you've actually got a protected variable. Usually those are private, but there might be others. We can find things like missing Java doc. These are public methods with missing Java doc, right? So this is just a real quick demo of check style. Um, trailing spaces. So there's actually a rule against having extra spaces. Um, so basically you're going to want to, as you know, go through the check style rules and um, figure out which ones are important to your team, put those in the CI build, and then put those in IntelliJ. And then you'll be in sync. Because really what people hate is when they think they've got everything right in their code and they check it in and it turns out the build server or the CI server tells you that that doesn't meet your minimum bar and you didn't see that in the IDE, you have to go through this iterative process and using the check style and the other plugins we talked about, you don't have to do that. So that's it. Thanks.